Welcome to our tutorial on editing a macro. Let's start by recording a new macro. I'm going to create a rectangle. Now let's extrude it. By the way, especially from the beginning, if you want to quickly find an argument in your code, depth in my case, Enter a value that you'll recognize later, later on. I've entered an unusual number here, 11.11 millimeters. Let's stop recording. We're going to save this as Macro 3. Now let's select Edit Macro. I'm going to expand my window a little bit. Let's look for the depth I entered previously. Here it is, 11.11 millimeters. As you see this unusual value, let me find the line quickly. By the way, the SolidWorks API uses meters and radians for its default units. That's why we see 0 0.01111 here. Now let's comment out any superfluous code or code that we don't need. This line simply turns off Enable and Disable Control Selection. We don't need this. These two variables are unused as well as this one. And these five lines aren't necessary either. For this tutorial, I'm just commenting them out, but normally I delete them. After we clean up our code, let's run the macro to see how it works. Looks fine. We've got extrude two right here. Back to our code. Let's use a form to insert height, depth, and width for this rectangle. I'm going to need three text boxes. One for each dimension. And then a button that'll trigger my event. Let's name this box TXT Height. Let's enter a default value in millimeters. Now let's name the width box. Right click copy and right click paste. Now we'll name our last box. We'll call it depth. Right click, copy, right click, paste in the value parameter field. And the last control here is the button. We'll call it BTN1. Let's give it an appropriate caption like Go. Let's get back to our code. We're going to copy the code. We'll select the lines that we need to copy. Now right click and copy. And let's right click and paste it into our form. Let's drag these up. And these two. Let's delete those. And let's declare three more variables. I'm going to pause the video while I type these in and make some more modifications to the code, actually. Let's hang on just a moment. Okay, here are the variables that I've declared. You see height, width, and depth. They're declared as doubles. These variables take their input from the corresponding text boxes. First, we convert the string to double we'll be entering values into the text boxes in millimeters. But the SOLIDWORKS API, as you remember, uses meters as its unit, so we divide this value by a thousand. Next, we need to replace the argument literals with variables. Let's start with the create corner rectangle. We've got six arguments here.
These arguments help determine the position of the rectangle. For more details, let's check the API help file. We right click, copy and paste our literal. Here's the create corner rectangle function and the argument descriptions as well as the data type. Doubles in our case. Now in our case we're interested in x2 and y2. These will help determine the height and width. Let's go back to our code. Select, right click, copy, and paste. Same for the width variable. Let's copy and paste as well. Oops, paste. By the way, if you find your line of code is too long, you can use an underscore to continue the code line on the next line. I actually should have made my break here. Now I'll just backspace to get to the right position. Okay, now it makes more visual sense. The last literal I'm going to replace is depth. We copy and paste. Now let's run our form and see how it works. We'll enter values of 10, 90, and finally 25. And press go. It seems that everything is working, besides the fact that we need to switch the height and width around. This concludes our tutorial on editing a macro.